hello guys and welcome to my channel so today's video is going to be a review of the victor and rolf good fortune fragrance um i hauled this um not too long ago so definitely go check out the haul and see the other fragrances that i had picked up but um this was kind of like a blind purchase i believe it was 25 20 to 25 percent off and so i kind of got somehow sucked in <laughs> and um victor and rolf i feel like they don't come out with a ton of fragrances i could be wrong but um they always come out with like remixes of like original of their original fragrances so for example um flower bomb i know there's like different versions of that and then there's bon bon and then there's different versions of that but i haven't seen them come up with an entire new fragrance so when i saw this i was like oh victor and rolf and i like them so why not so i've been using this for maybe about a month maybe a little bit longer um as you can see i've used quite a bit of it um i kind of go crazy with my fragrances fragrances and i wanted to make sure that i was like i got a good use out of it to make sure that you know i could give you know an honest review on it so, this launched in 2022 i haven't seen a ton of people talk about it um, I feel like it just kind of got lost under the radar um, and then I usually after Christmas so kind of Boxing Day a lot of the fragrance sets go on sale and a lot of them were going out of stock within a couple hours this was sitting there so I was like maybe people just don't know about it or either people hate it I don't know um, so it was just inter interesting to see how people weren't really gravitating to this um, fragrance um, but in terms of the notes, the top note is fennel and gentian codistillate. What the girl, what the hell is that? <laughs> I feel like they just, I don't know, come up with just random stuff. What fennel and gentian codistillate. There's no way I copied that correctly. Okay, I, I need to double check that. The middle note is jasmine super infusion and the base notes are bourbon vanilla infusion. The only two that I'm familiar with is the jasmine and the bourbon vanilla. So to me, I was assuming that it was going to be like very fruity, but also a little bit sweet um, type of fragrance. So in the initial opening, let me spray it really quickly. Oh, I sprayed my hand instead of my wrist. To me, in the initial spray, I get this bubble gum. I don't know what it is with these new fragrances that are just smelling like bubble gum, but I just get this bubblegum vibe in the initial spray but it's not like super sweet it's like a sharp like bubblegum like burst of bubblegum that I get when I initially spray this um but then it also smells very floral and I can definitely smell the jasmine um for some reason with all these fragrances that have this bubblegum opening um it goes away very quickly and um, with this one i definitely say the dry down you smell less of the bubble gum um and you it definitely smells more on the floral side when i first sprayed this i was i said to myself like i don't know where i've smelt this before but i feel like i've smelt it before which makes me makes me say that this is a little bit generic um you know when you just can't pinpoint where you've smelt this scent but you've definitely smelt it before i feel like that's what i get from this it's not anything that's particularly unique or something that you know out of the box it's definitely a classic floral scent that um that has sweetness to it but it's not too sweet but what one interesting thing about this fragrance is when it dries down i get like this herbal green tea like earthy kind of vibe about it which is super interesting because i don't think i have any fragrance that lean towards you know green tea herbal uh, oh almost dropped it um so i would say that's really unique about it um it's quite cozy and quite gentle as well when it once it completely dries down and kind of works with your body chemistry i would say um the green tea element makes it I guess that's the only thing that kind of makes it unique in its sense that um i don't really have any other fragrances in my collection where i get this kind of herbal green green tea kind of vibe to it and once it dries down i feel like that bubble gum is just completely gone um and i can definitely smell like the jazz the jasmine notes in it 
I would say if you asked me what kind of fragrance is this, it's just a classic jasmine vanilla floral fragrance. Um, I don't think it's anything in particular that's spectacular about it. I feel like it's marking its territory as like basic sweet vanilla, not sweet vanilla, sorry, basic sweet floral. Um, I don't think there's anything like dynamic about it or you know it doesn't really have that much depth to it um, which is a kind of a shame to be honest I was expecting more just because like the packaging just looks really cool and like genie in a bottle I just I don't know I thought I was, I was expecting more from it um, I will say that it does smell way different compared to their like Victor and Rolf other fragrances a lot of their fragrances smell very sweet very floral very delicate very light whereas this one um, it goes through different stages it has that bubble gum then it smells more jasmine and floral and then it dries down then you can smell kind of herbal green tea so definitely interesting in that sense but not interesting enough that I would probably repurchase it um, in terms of longevity I'd say this is about moderate and when I say moderate I want to say around four hours three four hours let's say three to five hours actually um, it got to a point where I just could not smell this at all and I find that with a lot of Victor and Royal fragrances they aren't the most long wearing um, and they're not the most like bold fragrances that kind of have this great silage and last hours on the end you just don't get that from most Victor and Royal fragrances and this included um, overall I'd give it a you know a six a 5.5 no I'll give it a 6 out of 10 it's not a bad fragrance but again because I am trying to be selective in kind of what fragrances I'm purchasing I definitely wouldn't repurchase this um, this is meant to be a 30 ml or a one fluid ounce and I feel like it went down quite quickly let me know your thoughts about this have you tried it you know do you love it do you hate it let me know what you think I think it's an okay fragrance it's nothing spectacular it's not something that I would, I would, you know, go out and buy and or assume that like I need to have this in my collection. I think once I finish it, I think I'm, I'm done and I'm okay and I'm content with not having this in my collection. Um, but then again, it just really depends on your preferences and kind of what you enjoy. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts on Victor and Rolf Good Fortune. Let me know if you've tried this fragrance before. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know the vibes. I will have my other Victor and Rolf videos in the description box down below if you're interested. Um, I definitely say I prefer like Bon Bon. Bon Bon is very, very sweet though. So if you don't like sweet, you're going to hate that. But I definitely say I prefer Bon Bon and Flower Bomb Nectar. Um, but those are very sweet fragrances and a lot more lighter than this. So maybe I'll do a comparison. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I'm happy to do that. But yeah, that's my thoughts on Victor and Rolf Good Fortune. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions um, or any other fragrances that you'd like me to review, definitely comment that in the comment section down below. But I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.